I remember those days vividly, the weight of expectation heavy on my shoulders. My name is Daniel, and back then, I was just another university student with a passion for gaming. My world was simple, revolving around my studies and the virtual battles I fought on my computer. But that simplicity was a facade, masking the turmoil that churned within me. Living in a small, cozy house, I was the only male in a family of women. My mother, a strong and resilient woman, and my three sisters, each with their unique personalities, were my world. My father had left us years ago, and his absence cast a shadow over our lives. I often felt the unspoken pressure to fill his shoes, to be the man of the house. It was a role I accepted but never truly felt comfortable in. In the privacy of my room, amidst the glow of computer screens and the familiar hum of my gaming rig, I harbored a secret. A secret that felt like a silent rebellion against the expectations of who I was supposed to be. I was fascinated by feminine attire and expressions. There was something about the softness, the elegance, and the freedom of femininity that drew me in, a stark contrast to the rigid masculinity I was expected to embody. Many nights, I'd find myself lost in the online world, not just in games, but in exploring forums and websites dedicated to cross-dressing. I saw people like me, expressing themselves in ways I only dared to imagine. They seemed so free, so at peace with themselves, and I envied them. I longed to express that hidden part of myself, to embrace the femininity that resonated so deeply within me. But fear always held me back. The fear of judgment, of ridicule, of shattering the image everyone had of me. In the quiet of the night, with only the soft clicking of my keyboard for company, I would ponder the possibility of stepping into the world as my true self. Could I ever have the courage to wear the dresses I secretly admired? To let my demeanor reflect the gentleness I felt inside? The thought was both exhilarating and terrifying. I was caught in a constant battle between desire and fear, yearning for freedom but shackled by the need to conform. So there I was, Daniel, the university student and avid gamer living a double life. On the outside, I played the role assigned to me by fate and society, but inside, I harbored dreams and desires that painted a very different picture of who I truly was. Night after night, I would watch them, the successful female streamers, with a mixture of admiration and envy. They were confident, charismatic, and most importantly, they were themselves, unapologetically. Their streams were more than just games. They were performances, expressions of their identity. I found myself drawn to their world, a place where I felt a strange sense of belonging. The more I watched, the more the idea grew in my mind, like a seed sprouting in fertile soil. What if I could be like them? What if I could step out from behind the shadow of Daniel and introduce the world to the person I felt inside? The thought was intoxicating. It was a chance to express the part of me that had been hidden away for so long, confined to the deepest corners of my heart. One evening, alone in my room with the glow of the monitor illuminating my face, I found myself browsing through an online store filled with feminine clothing and accessories. My heart raced as I scrolled through the pages of dresses, wigs, and makeup kits. Each item seemed to whisper promises of freedom and self-expression. I hesitated at first, my cursor hovering over the Add to Cart button. My mind was a battlefield of thoughts. What if someone finds out? What will my family say? Yet with every click, the excitement grew stronger, drowning out the doubts. I imagined myself wearing a beautiful dress, my reflection in the mirror showing a version of me that felt more real than anything I had known. The idea of adopting a female persona for my gaming streams became a beacon of hope, a way to bridge the gap between my hidden desires and my public life. I could be a streamer, not just any streamer, but one who could express femininity with pride and joy. As I sat there contemplating my next move, the line between fear and desire blurred. The thought of being seen, truly seen for who I was, felt like a distant dream coming into focus. With a deep breath that seemed to fill my lungs with newfound courage, I clicked order on a selection of items, a dress that caught my eye, a wig that matched the color I always wished my hair could be, and a basic makeup kit. The decision was made. 
There was no turning back now. I felt a mixture of relief and anxiety, a storm of emotions swirling inside me, but above all, there was a spark of exhilaration, the thrill of embarking on a journey to discover the person I was meant to be. The night I decided to purchase those items was a defining moment in my life. It felt like standing at the edge of a cliff, knowing that the only way forward was to jump into the unknown. The deliberation was agonizing, a mental tug of war between the life I had always known and the life I dreamed of. Sitting in the dim light of my room, surrounded by the familiar clutter of gaming paraphernalia and college textbooks, the decision weighed heavily on me. Each item in my online shopping cart was more than just fabric or makeup. They were symbols of a hidden part of myself that I was now choosing to explore openly. I remember the mix of fear and excitement as I entered my payment details, each keystroke echoing like a step on a creaking wooden floor. The fear wasn't just about being discovered or judged. It was about confronting the reality of who I was, about stepping out from behind the safety of my male persona. My hand trembled as I hovered over the confirm purchase button. I was acutely aware of the gravity of what I was about to do. This wasn't just a purchase. It was a commitment to a journey of self-discovery and acceptance. It felt like I was about to open a door to a room within myself that I had kept locked for years. With a deep breath that felt like it filled every corner of my being, I clicked the button. The confirmation message on the screen was like a seal on my decision, a tangible acknowledgement of the path I had chosen. In that moment, a wave of relief washed over me, mingled with a sense of liberation, I had taken the first real step towards embracing my inner desire to cross-dress, towards becoming the person I felt I was inside. The days that followed were a blur of anticipation and anxiety. I was constantly torn between excitement at the thought of expressing my true self and fear of the unknown. Would I be able to pull this off? What would happen when the package arrived? These questions spun in my mind like a carousel each turn bringing a mix of exhilaration and apprehension. But beneath the whirlwind of emotions, a steady current of determination ran through me. I had made a decision, a decision to no longer hide, to no longer suppress the part of me that longed to be seen. It was a bold step, yes, but it was also the first step towards a future where I could be authentically me. The package arrived on a day that was filled with the usual blend of college routines and solitary evenings. My heart pounded with a mix of fear and anticipation as I signed for it, the plain cardboard box giving no hint of the transformation it contained. Retreating to my room, I locked the door behind me, my private sanctuary where I could explore this new aspect of myself. Opening the box felt like peeling away layers of my old identity, each item I unpacked was a piece of the puzzle that was Yukari, the name I had chosen for my streaming persona. It was a name that resonated with me, carrying a sense of beauty and grace I longed to embody. Experimenting with makeup was like venturing into a new world, one where colors and brushes were tools of expression, rather than just cosmetic enhancements. I remember the first time I applied foundation, trying to even out my skin tone, the brush strokes tentative and unsure. My hands, usually so steady when gaming, trembled as I attempted to trace my eyes with eyeliner, the lines awkward and uneven. It was a process of trial and error, each mistake a lesson learned in the art of self-presentation. Dressing up was an equally profound experience. Slipping into the clothes I had chosen, I felt a connection to Yukari growing stronger. The fabric against my skin, the fit and fall of each garment, seemed to pull me further away from Daniel and closer to the person I was becoming. It was an exhilarating, if somewhat daunting, exploration of my identity. The night of my first stream as Yukari was one I will never forget. The glow of the computer screen lit my face, now carefully made up, reflecting a person who was both me and not me. As I clicked the Go Live button, a surge of nerves swept through me, the fear of rejection and ridicule looming large, but as the stream progressed, something remarkable happened. Viewers began to trickle in, drawn perhaps by the novelty or the genuine enthusiasm I felt as Yukari. The chat, usually quiet in my previous streams as Daniel came alive with comments and interactions. 
People were responding not just to the game I was playing but to me, to Yukari. There was no mockery, no judgment, only a growing sense of community and acceptance. The contrast was stark. As Daniel, my streaming efforts had gone largely unnoticed, lost in the vast sea of online content. But as Yukari, I felt seen, heard, and valued. The positive attention was more than just a boost to my channel. It was a validation of my identity, a sign that there was a place for Yukari in the world. That night, after ending the stream, I sat in the quiet of my room, a sense of accomplishment washing over me. I had taken a risk, stepping into the public eye as my true self, and it had been met with acceptance. The journey of Daniel experimenting with makeup and becoming Yukari was not just about changing appearances. It was about discovering and embracing the person I had always been inside. As the days turned into weeks, the persona of Yukari began to blossom. With each stream, I grew more comfortable in my new skin. Each session an opportunity to refine my makeup skills, to experiment with different styles, and to interact with an ever-growing audience. My room, once a place of solitude and secrecy, became my stage. And as Yukari, I was the star. The transformation was not just in my appearance, but in my confidence, too. I found myself engaging with viewers in ways I never had before, sharing laughs, discussing games, and even touching on deeper topics like identity and self-acceptance. The community that formed around my streams was more than an audience. They were becoming friends, allies in my journey of self-discovery. With popularity came a sense of responsibility and opportunity. My streams, once a hobby, were now generating income, modest at first, but gradually increasing. The excitement of receiving my first earnings was a milestone, a tangible result of my efforts and talent. It wasn't just about the money, it was a sign that Yukari was valued, that what I was doing mattered to people. This newfound financial independence had a profound impact on my life. For so long, I had watched my mother struggle to make ends meet, her face etched with the weariness of endless work. The thought of contributing to our household expenses, of easing her burden even slightly, filled me with a sense of purpose and pride. I remember the day I handed my first contribution to her. The look of surprise and gratitude on her face was worth more than any amount of money. This is from my streaming, I said, my voice a mix of pride and nervousness. Her eyes widened, a silent question about the sudden increase in my income. I've been working hard, I added quickly, not yet ready to reveal the full truth of Yukari's existence. The success of Yukari's streams became a turning point in my life. The dual identity of Daniel and Yukari was no longer a source of conflict, but a harmonious balance. As Yukari, I had found a space where I could express my true self, and as Daniel, I felt a renewed sense of purpose and connection with my family. With each stream, Yukari's popularity grew, and with it, my sense of independence and self-worth. The streams had started as a daring experiment, a step into the unknown, but they had become a lifeline, a path to a future where I could be true to myself in every aspect of my life. The supportive community that had gathered around Yukari was not just watching my streams, they were witnessing my transformation, cheering me on every step of the way. The decision to buy a car for my mother was born out of a deep-seated desire to give back, to somehow express my gratitude for her unwavering support through the years. The weight of her sacrifices, her silent struggles to keep our family afloat, was something I carried with me every day. As Yukari's success grew, so did my resolve to use this newfound avenue, not just for self-expression, but as a means to bring some relief to her life. I spent countless nights poring over websites, comparing prices and models, trying to find the perfect car that would fit within the budget I had painstakingly saved from my streaming income. The secrecy of my online persona added layers of complexity to my plan. How would I explain the source of this sudden windfall? The thought nagged at me, but the desire to see the joy and surprise on my mother's face propelled me forward. The day I bought the car, my heart was a tumultuous sea of emotions. Excitement and fear collided within me with every step I took in the dealership. When I finally made the purchase, handing over the money I had earned as Yukari, it felt like a defining moment. The car, sleek and reliable, was a symbol of my journey, 
my struggles, and ultimately, my success. Driving the car home, I rehearsed the conversation I would have with my mother. How could I explain the truth about Yukari? The thought of revealing my secret identity was daunting. Yet deep down I knew that this moment of revelation was inevitable. The dual life I had been leading was becoming unsustainable, and with every milestone Yukari achieved, the lines between my two worlds blurred. The look on my mother's face when I handed her the keys was a memory I would cherish forever. Her initial shock and confusion slowly gave way to a mixture of joy and concern. How did you afford this? She asked, her voice trembling with a cocktail of emotions. The question hung in the air, heavy with expectation. My heart pounded in my chest as I stood there on the precipice of truth. The journey of Yukari, once a secret harbored in the shadows, was now pushing me towards the light of honesty and openness. I have something to tell you, I began, the words barely a whisper. The confession of Yukari's existence, of my life as a streamer, and of the community I had built, tumbled out. The fear of her rejection, of misunderstanding, was palpable, but so was the need to be seen as my whole self, to integrate the fragmented pieces of my life into a coherent whole. As I spoke, I watched her face, searching for signs of reaction, bracing myself for judgment. But what I saw was a dawning realization, a slow piecing together of the disparate parts of my life she had glimpsed, but never fully understood. The climax of my journey wasn't just about buying a car or the financial independence it represented. It was about the courage to stand in my truth, to merge the separate paths of Daniel and Yukari into a single, authentic existence. It was a pivotal moment, one that would redefine my relationship with my mother and myself, setting the stage for a future where I no longer had to hide who I was or who I wanted to be. The room was silent, save for the beating of my heart, as I laid bare the truth of my double life. The words felt heavy, each one a confession of the countless days and nights spent living a reality that my mother had been oblivious to. I revealed everything about Yukari, my cross-dressing and the world I had built online. The fear of rejection was a tangible presence in the room, a specter looming over my vulnerable admission. As I spoke, my mother's face was a canvas of changing emotions, from confusion and surprise to contemplation. I held my breath, watching her closely, every second stretching into eternity. The fear of her disapproval, of a rift forming between us, was overwhelming. I had shared my most profound truth, exposing the core of my being to the person whose opinion mattered most. The silence that followed my revelation was deafening. My heart raced as I waited for her response, bracing myself for the worst. The possibility of losing the familial bond that had been my anchor throughout my life was a thought too painful to bear. But then, something remarkable happened. Her eyes, which I had expected to show anger or disappointment, softened. A tear traced a path down her cheek, and her voice, when she finally spoke, was laced with emotion. I don't understand all of this, but I see how happy it makes you, she said, her words cutting through my fear. You are my child no matter what. I love you and nothing will change that. In that moment, a weight lifted off my shoulders, a burden I had carried for so long that I had forgotten its oppressive heft. Her words were like a balm to my anxious soul, soothing the years of hidden pain and fear. My mother's acceptance was not just an acknowledgement of my cross-dressing and streaming activities. It was an affirmation of my very identity. We talked for hours, delving into the nuances of my journey, the online persona of Yukari, and the community I had built. I shared with her the joy and fulfillment I found in my streaming, the supportive friends I had made, and how it had allowed me to contribute to our family in a way I never thought possible. The revelation and subsequent acceptance marked a turning point in our relationship. It brought us closer, fortifying our bond with newfound honesty and understanding. My mother's unconditional love and support became the cornerstone of my continued journey as Yukari, giving me the strength to embrace my identity fully and openly. The fear of rejection that had shadowed my steps dissolved in the face of her acceptance, transforming into a shared journey of discovery and understanding. It was a moment of profound clarity and connection, 
a testament to the enduring power of a mother's love and the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. With my mother's acceptance, the world seemed to open up in a way I had never experienced before. The fear and uncertainty that had clouded my journey as Yukari began to dissipate, replaced by a sense of empowerment and purpose. Her understanding and support were the final pieces in the puzzle of my identity, allowing me to fully embrace myself as Yukari. My streaming sessions took on a new life, fueled by the authenticity of being able to be myself without hiding. I shared my story with my viewers, not as a dramatic reveal, but as a celebration of my journey towards self-acceptance. The response was overwhelming. Messages of support, gratitude, and shared stories of identity struggles poured in. My channel became more than a place for gaming. It turned into a sanctuary for those wrestling with their own identities, a community where they could find understanding, acceptance, and support. As Yukari, I found a deeper connection with my audience. We shared our joys, challenges, and triumphs. My streams were no longer just about entertainment. They were about connection, growth, and mutual support. The income from my channel continued to grow, allowing me not only to support my family, but also to invest in better streaming equipment and contribute to charities supporting LGBTQ plus communities. The bond with my mother grew stronger with each passing day. Our conversations, once superficial and guarded, now delved into meaningful topics, including my experiences and the broader issues facing the LGBTQ plus community. Her willingness to learn and understand more about my world was heartwarming. Our home, once a place of silent struggles, became a haven of openness and love. In embracing my identity as Yukari, I realized that my journey was not just about me. It was about showing others that it's possible to live authentically, to turn fears into strengths, and to find acceptance, starting with self-acceptance. My mother's unconditional love had set me free, and now, as Yukari, I was determined to use my platform to advocate for others, to spread the message of love, acceptance, and the beauty of being true to oneself. The resolution of my story, from Daniel's internal conflict to Yukari's public affirmation, was a testament to the transformative power of acceptance and love. It was a journey that had brought me full circle, not to an end, but to a new beginning a promising horizon filled with possibilities and the joy of living as my true self. As I sit in my room, the very space where Yukari was born out of Daniel's longing and dreams, I can't help but reflect on the journey that brought me here. The walls, once silent witnesses to my internal struggles, now resonate with the vibrant energy of my streams, the laughter and conversations of a community I've come to cherish. Looking back, I see the path I've traveled, marked by fear, doubt and discovery, leading to acceptance, empowerment and love. The transition from Daniel to Yukari was not just a change of attire or a new name, it was a metamorphosis of the soul, a shedding of old skins to reveal the truth of who I am. My heart swells with gratitude for the twists and turns of this journey. Each step, each challenge and each moment of uncertainty played a crucial role in sculpting the person I am today. The fear of rejection, the exhilarating rush of my first stream as Yukari, the overwhelming joy of my mother's acceptance. These are the milestones that paved my road to self-discovery. As Yukari, I've found not just an audience, but a family of like-minded souls, each with their own stories and struggles, united in our shared experiences. My streams, once an escape, are now my platform to advocate, to inspire, and to connect. I am more than a gamer or a streamer, I am a beacon for others navigating the turbulent waters of identity and acceptance. Looking forward, the future is a canvas of possibilities. With my mother's love as my anchor and the support of my community as my sails, I am ready to navigate the vast seas of life. There are still challenges ahead, no doubt, and the journey of self-discovery is never truly complete. But I face these with a heart full of courage and a spirit unburdened by the fears that once shackled me. In this quiet moment of reflection, I am overwhelmed by a profound sense of fulfillment. The journey from Daniel to Yukari, with all its trials and triumphs, has been the most authentic narrative of my life. I am excited for what the future holds, not just for me, 
but for those I might inspire to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery. This epilogue is not an end, but a new chapter in the ongoing story of my life. As Yukari, I am more than I ever dreamed I could be, living authentically and embracing every facet of my identity. My journey stands as a testament to the power of true self-acceptance, and I am eager to see where this path will lead, not just for me, but for all who find inspiration in my story.